March the 18th is today, and I am on my way to work, which I don't think it's going to last for too long. This is owned by the same hostel owners. Uh, as I'm in the hostel, it says right there, it says right there, my motto for month March, it's better to come late than ran over courier uh, with a package a message as I was told under MK Ultra brainwashed about this big time over and over and over I will explain to you exactly what's going on March 18th 2020 today as I'm passing to the work, I cannot help myself but glimpse uh, a little Skoda right there, year 99. Not even drivable vehicle uh, with uh, all my belongings stored right there like this. Stuff I would not even need if I wasn't placed in a place as I was in this cold freezing garage were tortured for three months at temperature close to zero or below, very close to zero, one, two, or below. Oh, this is the stuff, I'm gonna say, there is employment office here that, if you're gonna go to employment office, you will see it. This, this kind of stuff. You, you, you will see, you will not miss this thing, there is no way to miss one. And they made sure that the work I have, I would see this, like every morning, it's direction where I'm heading. No, you can't miss this stuff. And it was stuff like this that was all over this city, as I was told by the chief of the police alone. Donald Trump complained that it's the stuff like this that no longer will have them come to the city even. And the chief of the police ensured that things were removed, and they really were. More of the stuff like this, they were uh, removed because they scared away business people. Um, yeah, uh, this is what I was told. Therefore, it's the business people who do the shit like this, right? MK Ultra stuff like this. Um, therefore, this, should, this is the stuff that should benefit me because it, it, it scared them, it slowed them down. But actually, it did not because I'm talking about the year 2000 and I don't know 2005 something like this but my shit went on all the way to 2017 it did not scare anybody away the things went on humiliations uh, were not done by Americans to this degree they were not done by the Germans they were not done by by anybody other than Polish people alone in fact, Lodz University, where I was brought for humiliation, not on one occasion, but <laughs> on, I don't even know how many occasions they, they started to bring me inside of the Predavateska uh, Saba. I don't even know how you say that. Where you have uh, classes, sessions in front of a lot of audience. It's not a conference room, a gathering room, whatever you want to call it, where people assemble for class, for lectures. You're talking about a lot of people. Um, the main one actually resembled It's not uh, a parliament because they have no parliament in Israel. Knesset, Knesset. It resembled Knesset room. And during those sessions, I was humiliated. I was brought on a stage and told in front of the audience. It started with a private, uh, like in a private classrooms, like in a classrooms inside of the classrooms at the medical, brought inside of the class in front of these uh, students, 
and demonstrated to the I'm animal, America, this and that, tra la 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 la, stuff like that. And it ended with this kind of stuff when I was brought to the main one. I don't know on how many occasions I did this, but finally, it got into a, to attention. If this is at least what I was told to a law department, to the University of Law, whatever you want to call this, properly, in proper terminology. For what I was told then, it was all kinds of arguments that they fuck it up, that they're not supposed to, I would tell you not to bring in the main room and this and that. So as long as it went on in the, in the classrooms, of, I don't know, 20, 30 students, whatever that was, I was okay. But once you would bring me like to the main one, to the big one, it was especially wrong because it was an outrage that backlash from Israel, from Netanyahu. They learned about this. They had me in Israel, in Knesset. They learned about this main university hall, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call this classroom, tutorial, uh, ambient, whatever. And it sparked outrage, protest sometimes in 2005. It ended. And then it's what I was told, good thing for me because it's, yeah, these are people from Department of Law uh, university, I do not know. They gestured that I was never gonna, my story never gonna come out, account this and that, but, and gestured me about my becoming royal here in Poland, king, and I don't know what. They said they did nothing else than lied all along. And it's not even the stuff of my interest. Really, it's none of my interest, this. But because of this kind of humiliation that they're going to give me the support and I will actually obtain this title and I don't know what and this and that, that they're going to help me out. But it was all the time about the money, 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 money. All the time it was about the money. It was total obsession about the money. And Joshua did. Teacher, as a matter of fact, psychologist mentioned that is employed by university that she's going to be the one also that they're going to give her this case to handle to ensure that this is going to get through and this and that for me and so on and so forth. So everything was really for me, but really nothing really was for me. I'm going at the job that is like a really comfortable job. It's like you sit, uh, it's IT job. But it's a lot to learn, so you have to invest a lot of energy, enthusiasm in it and learn a lot of stuff, uh, especially because the training is not done properly. So you can somehow survive on this job. And they know I like the job, they know that I can do it eventually, that I will get through this. This is not even a secret. But what happened today is a filthy shit because the job, it's not a coincidence, it's the kind of job they give you when you do the stuff like this. I have written on a blog, and what I have written on a blog is that I have experienced like chest burn here on this side where heart is located. And this shit was like burning, painful, like you would touch, you would touch the skin and it would freaking hurt you. Uh, and it's something I was told by the people in the place where I'm going right now to work that will be the case if I will not comply with their politic. Now, this is environment that involves people from quite a few portions of the world. People such as also Greek people, people, um, people from, from all kinds of backgrounds. And I am quite shocked to learn that 
they would have Polish people actually conditioning me as per how I'm going to see things is don't li even look at this Greek team and this and that that were involved in MK Ultra. Don't look at even other teams, Chinese and all this, nobody, nothing. You just get this proofs from them and put this online and that's it. And we go and tra-la-la. I, I, this is not the way it works in my case. Uh, at the beginning stage, from the beginning, from the point A, all the way to today, which is uh, really at the end of this MK Ultra BS brainwash here in Poland. I, uh, this took for me 25 years of life, folks. They had Russians and Serbs in complete control. And I don't like using the term Russians and Serbs, but the Russians and Serbs aren't doing anything about it. And I'm getting angry about this. I'm getting really, really angry about this, that they're not doing anything about Vucic, they're not doing anything about Putin. And I'm going to start to use this term Russians and Serbs because it does me no good to keep silent about what goes on. And it's what Poles want. They like this. They want this. They, they make sure that they would even display Serbian nationalist symbols at the workplace at a guy, the Polish guy, is a young dude, brainwashed, he does not know what is, what is stone, what is shoe. He would not see the difference, dude. He is brainwashed like, few of them brainwashed like you wouldn't believe, politically completely washed. Like a goat's. They display this nationalist symbols it reminded me of Macedonia. They got into the argument with the Greek people over there in front of me and so on and so forth. And I just happened to be one, uh, probably in 2000, I don't know, 17, 18, that I actually wrote against this merch, Greek Macedonian uh, merch, for what I deem for the sake of Macedonian people. Uh, and for that matter, I was dissented from the Greek side. So now, either way you look, you're bitten up. Uh, whatever the hell you do, you're bitten up. Now, what I have learned from MK Ultra is that beside the people that st were involved at the beginning of this case, actually got plenty of proofs for KGB. Um, plenty of proofs for the Serbs were also the people at, that appeared at the end of it and it would be it would be nothing all along I was told it would be nothing if I would not comply with them not comply with ethics with normal people from Serbia or Russia or something like this but comply with them with what? With the KGB? No, this is not even KGB. I don't know what this is, this shit. This is like a mafia. It's like a gangster. It's like a mob. That they hold you for the throat. And actually believed, because that sign that you have seen was displayed on the same building, the same owner's hat, the same sign. Condition you that the truth is not going to come out. Uh, they're going to come out and admit the whole thing in front of the world, uh, what, what was on, what, what was done, and this and that. If, the, if you're going to see it their way, whatever way. Yeah, don't kill, don't kill mailman, don't kill messenger uh, on your way to work. Don't do this because it's not going to get through for you, you see. It's better to come late at work than to... Uh, to run over one and so tonight it's not only the physician who met me in Grotnikach this is individual who lives in Grotnikach and was a doctor already in 2005 Kaczynski with Kaczynski I was inside of the Warsaw inside of the lodge uh, hospitals for brain for um, 
hard issues. It's the hospital here, I can tell you, I can identify people right here. Supposedly I never was inside of the hospital yet. The floor for cardiologists, where the lady worked as a cleaner. And they volunteered that they're gonna help me out. I said, they're gonna help you out because they don't want you to say what I said right now. Because once you get into that element and you start to recognize them and this and that, well, they can associate that with other issues, let's just say. So, once you start to play with this kind of stuff, screwing me 25 years of life, uh, and then you go about this kind of stuff, conditioning me, labeling me with, the, I don't know, with a racist, with driving people, person completely out of his fucking mind, uh, going beyond everything, fucking rip his uh, belongings like for two years, put him inside of the ice room, dude, so he can freeze inside of that ice room for like three months to see, basically to test the limits, complete limits of his uh, ability to to handle anything, to handle whatever you want to call this. Sell him a car through MK Ultra, like completely abuse his trust, like totally fucking abuse his trust. Car that does not even work. No, because I did not transfer the title because the law changed. I was just told that the car has a trouble, right? The engine trouble that you cannot even dry one in the winter temperatures because of the refrigerant coolant. It blows out if you put the refrigerant inside. He's got a real engine problem. And from beginning from this year, you have to disclose on a paper whenever you sell to the person, whoever you sell, that the car has this kind of problem. Now, who the hell you think is going to buy this kind of car? So this is like total fucking abuse, total ripoff, total crap. And basically, this is the stuff uh, that I supposed to be silent about and somehow just comply and not see and this I guess what when happened today this kind of play for which I was told it's all audio recorded yesterday in the evening before I went to sleep the roommate started to talk about his medical condition for which he told me already at least in 2015 and not 2013 that this is what he has and talk about statistics and this and that. It's recorded. If this is what he was talking about, you can replicate whatever. And I don't understand Russian very well, but he definitely uh, simulated as closely as possible his MK Ultra procedure. This is an individual from Ukraine. Just believe he is 100% Ukrainian. And, but you know, this is job from the governments is basically to prevent the truth from leaking out in front of you know. For the world to be seen us as this. And so yeah, this is really something that I'm not supposed to I'm not supposed to tell this stuff. Uh, you know, I'm not supposed to tell the stuff like this because this is like really, really sensitive that people that I'm working with right now. Actually the people that I am working it with right now, uh, from Serbia were involved in this MK Ultra procedure. Uh, told me, threatened me in front of the Poles and then with the Poles and this and that at this location, at this workplace and so on. If you're going to say this and then it's nothing and this and that. And even threatened, we will kill you and so on and so forth. And you go with the stuff like this, then in that case you go a little bit too far with me because, you know, uh, I am not that kind of person that is going to hold these things back anymore. Uh, I have gone through a little bit too much in my life. I know this is like really useful because now you can tell, oh, you see, he is no good. He's not convenient for anybody, this and that. But you know, it's like I said, in Poland, everything is for sale. You know, this building, this is what I was told. That's the one I work at right there. It's a Ericsson, it's a Fujitsu. Never had a job like this. But believe me, it's convenient. At the right time, at the right place, this is where I'm supposed to build my own, is what I was told. 
Everything in Poland is for sale. Seriously, everything. But nothing is for sale more than Jesus. My God, however, is still not for sale. This was recorded on March 18, 2020. Yeah, everything is for sale, folks. Hurry up here and you're going to invest your money. It's a beautiful country, beautiful people, and everything is for sale. <laughs> 